First Chronicles 24, verse 6. <clears throat> Okay. Oh, twenty four six. I oh, was not there. Shema, son of Nathaniel, the scribe. The scribes notoriously copied down scripture, down to the letter, and it's interesting because Jesus kind of loses that when he's talking about following the law. He, he's like telling them when he, he's criticizing the Pharisees for keeping the law and what they view. And he's saying, if you don't keep it down to the very smallest mark, you can't do it. Which none of us can, and that's why we needed Christ. And that was the point he was making to them. We have to fulfill the law by Christ. We can't do it on our own. Christ fulfills the law for us. <clears throat> But the scribes had notorious detail, especially for scripture and reverence for scripture. Scribes weren't just scribes of scripture, though. They'd scribe anything. Who wrote, who was of the Levites, and wrote them in the presence of the king. So he scribed what's happening. Um, I don't think he's the one who wrote this scripture, but it's an extra biblical account, I believe, that's pinned down. And he could have copied this scripture and kept it, preserved it for us by him. But I think more than likely it's a historical account done in the presence of the king, which they had that too. Um, we got to understand there is a difference between their historical account and the account we found in the Bible. There are two separate things. Oftentimes they overlapped and they had similar thing, uh, topics because what happened in the Bible actually happened. But they weren't the exact same thing. Their history book wasn't the Bible. And princesses and Zadok the priest, and Elmet the son of Abathar, and the heads of the father's house, and the priest of the Levites, one father's house being taken for Elsner, and the other being taken for Imphmar. Now this is done because the Levites were put in charge of God's house, God's service. So they're doing this because it's their role. We as Christians have responsibility. Are we living up to the responsibility God's given us?